Greetings, Salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today we are at the Goodwill and I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. So welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting. If you guys love thrifting and thrift hauls and handbag rehabs and vlogs, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit the little um, subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when I do post a new video. And don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find because I'm really excited. Making a beeline towards the carts. But they have all the new stuff. They have a couple of new haunted dolls right there. Ooh, a Snoopy snow cone machine. I think I literally used to have this when I was little. They have a little Paw Patrol thing. Oh, a notebook. Some shoes. Let's see what's inside of here. Actually, this is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's missing stuff though. Ten dollars. Maybe gonna pass on that one. Oh look at these pillows. These are new from Target, $7.99. But they're too like fall for right now. Checking out the handbags. This almost looks like a Michael Kors Hamilton. And this one almost looks like um what is it? Like, I think it's called the Horse Bit Satchel from Gucci. This is the sack. Looks very similar to a fossil. This one looks very similar to a coach. Nine West. Fake, like the Oh, look at a fake Balenciaga. This is kind of fun. I kind of like the color. Okay, this is legitimately like kind of cute. So I think I'm gonna get it for $6.99. Yeah, it's super cute. Uh, let's check it out. What else we can find here? Uh, what is this? Okay, this is a J. Jill bag. That's like eight dollars, and it's kind of really dirty. Um, this one is Rampage. Some guess bags right here. What is this? It feels really soft, like a Betsy Johnson or a Bakier. Bakier. Ooh, this is really nice. I think I'm gonna pick this one up. All right. Have that on my arm. Okay, this is turning out to be pretty good. We found two bags so far. I'm really excited. Let's check out the other side. This is leather. Steve Madden. Oh, look how cute this is. It's like a little, like, it's like a, um, it looks just like the little coach bags. Forgot the name. Oh, this is like a cute little quilted bag. Rosetti. Oh, this is kind of fun, but it's just Chinese laundry. It's pleather. And I'm coming to the end of the row and don't really fake Gucci horse bit. Jessica Simpson. All right, let's check out the rest of the store. Taking a look through the faux botanicals, they have like fake monstera leaves. There's another one right there, but eh. Fake orchid. That is like, it's kind of crazy looking. I don't like it. Looks rotten or something. Ugh. They have this, oh this is like a Target base, $7.99. That floral thing is kind of cool, but it's broken. Are these from Anthropology? I don't remember. 
I feel like I feel like I've seen something very similar to this in the anthropology, but this one is broken. This cool crow thing. Did I pass up this unicorn bag before? <laughs> it's kind of cute. Oh, they have a Bodum electric water kettle. That's pretty nice. It's good for like travel. Um, okay. Let's see what else we can find here. Some toys. Oh no. Why does she look so evil? Like she's staring into my soul and she's ready to steal it. <sighs> now we enter the land of baskets and tchotchkes. That is a pretty cool statue. Price check please, price check, thank you. Oh, little Christmas village pieces. More baskets. I didn't do my Christmas village um, this past Christmas because I was one, a little too lazy, and then two, a little too lazy. <laughs> I feel like this year I want to. Um, so maybe I'll, if I see like some cool pieces at the thrift, I'll use them to supplement what I already have. But we'll see if I see anything cool. I'll definitely do that. Lots of cool statue things. Alright. Let's see if there's any cool plates. Crate and barrel, that's cool. There's only two of them though. I remember the last time I was here, they had some really nice, like, little dessert plates from Crane Barrel that I totally wish I picked up but then I didn't get them and I'm pretty sad that I didn't get them I should have bought them because they were really good but it's okay this is where I found my other Crane Barrel plates from before but they are no more there but I just have to check to make sure I didn't miss one wow these look fancy. Independence Ironstone by Castleton China Inc. Made in Japan. Hey, these are pretty cool. I kind of like this plate. Made in Portugal. Value ceramic. I like the blue on there. It's really pretty. Friends and family plate. Oh, how cute is this? Friends and family plate. Oh, how sad it made its way to the Goodwill. <laughs> That's cute though. Like, super cute. This is also nice. Ay. Simple home. Primstone Fiesta oven to table. Dishwasher safe. Ooh, made in Japan. All right, I am looking at the mugs. Look at that little dog. He's cute. I love the soaps. I want like a I love thrifting mug. How awesome would that be to find one of those at the thrift store? This is kind of cool. Housewares imported. It's like clocks. Very like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, good morning, sunshine. That's fun too. A clean house is a sign of a wasted life. I do not believe that. Happy house is like a happy life. Or a clean house is a happy life. Oh, uh, Disney 2016 Florida. Jerry Lay. Coffee bean. World market. That is super chipped. I don't know how these things, like, it's really, like, random that sometimes these things make it onto the floor that are, like, super broken. But I don't know, someone might have broken it. Oh, wow. It was out on the floor.
um, like my mission, I think, for this year. Other than like the usual suspects that I look for in plates, I really want to find anthropology stuff. This is kind of a fun mug. We're girlfriends. We're happy. And that's all that matters. Oh, girlfriends. $2.99. That's uh, expensive. This is actually a really cool. And it's $5.99. It's like a pineapple type of containery looking thing. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like boho, kind of cool island. Looking at the glassware. I really want those double barrel glass cups and I'm always looking for them, but they're really hard to find um, at the Goodwill unless they come like in a box because I feel like whenever they get here, they're already broken or I don't know, something happened to them. But I've only ever found like one set of two of like those double barrel coffee cups and they were in a box so don't see any here I feel like I want to make a 2018 checklist for things I want to find at the Goodwill do you guys have like anything specific that you guys want to find for this year tell me down below in the comments because I'd love to hear what you guys are looking for and I might even add it to my list too uh, I might not even know that I was looking for it. This chip and salsa seashell thing is actually pretty cool. I see some chips on it though, so I'm not going to be getting it. But $5.99, made in Japan. There's this vintage Pyrex. I love this orange color. That is very nice. Oh, owls. I do love a good owl. And do you see that sleigh? Like, why do I kind of want it? But I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna be strong. Not gonna get anything like too knick-knacky, especially if it's not the right season. Corningware, holiday pie. Oh, <gasps> pottery barn. <gasps> oh, do you see that? It's like, it's like cracked right there. And it goes all the way through. Which is unfortunate, because this is beautiful. Could have put plants in there. I'm still down here looking Paula Deen. I always like to look at the bottom of like shelves, because there might be something really good. De Silva, made in Italy. This is actually really pretty too. And if anything, this would be a good planter. De Silva also sounds familiar. I'm gonna have to look it up in a second. Um, this is kind of cool also. Ooh, look at this little gourmet Mickey thing. This is so cute, $1.99. Is he vintage? I don't know. I just found like this pretty cool barbecue set. This is pretty cool for the barbecue. It has no price on it. I'm gonna see how much it costs because this looks like it's pretty cool. All right, I'm almost done with this aisle. Oh, blue and white, $5.99. This is like 80 pounds. It's really heavy, kind of like it. Oh, there's a chip, crikey. It looks like someone tried to fill it in too. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. It's really pretty though and it's really heavy. It might be ironstone. Um, See what else we have here. Oh, that one's chipped too. This was really pretty. Why are we all chipped? Oh, this is kind of cool. I like that print. Ceramica. $4.99. They have some cool platters. I don't know why I love these platters with like prints or pictures on them. I think they're so fun. Leavenware. Osa, Usa, don't know how to pronounce that. This is actually really pretty. Nate Burkis letter tray, $7.99. All these horses are like calling my name. This is kind of cool looking. 
Interesting. That mirror is kind of cool down there. We got some like tin stands. Bread box. Giraffe. Saw that last time. Checking out the artwork, I kind of like that bike thing right there. And that mirror with like the chunky frame is cool. That painting. I actually do like this one. Sinera con flor. Looks like a weed though. Again, I'm always looking at paintings. Do I have any hung up in my room? No. Okay, I do like this tall planter. I don't like that it's $40. It's from Target though, but it's so expensive. This giant Elena of Avalor doll, $40. Mini Mouse. Oh, Eliza like literally actually has that in his room right now. That box. Treasure chest. Oh, Paw Patrol. Nickelodeon. This is kind of fun. Also, oh, this little chair. That's super cute. Time out. Look at that framed mirror. This is the only carpet they have right now. They usually have a lot here. Every time. I'm always seeing these now that I'm not looking for them. There's so many beanie babies in here. <gasps> what? Is this Princess Diana? No, it's September. <laughs> so I just drop it. I want a Princess Diana beanie baby. Alright you guys, we just left the store. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and going thrifting. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give this one a big thumbs up. It helps immensely. And don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow for the haul video. So I'll see you guys then. Love you guys. Adios. Bye. I was looking at the DVDs and I literally found one of my favorite movies. And it's empty. So sad. I'm not gonna be able to sing a lot. Well, actually, I already owned the DVD, but I just wanted to see if it was in there, and it's not. I'm sad. I'm trying to see what else they have. Oh, my best friend's wedding. This is also a good one. Bring it on, all or nothing. What? I also saw Devil Wears Prada in here. Just a few. Oh, 